Your baby Ladies 20 pounds? and gentlemen from the Microsoft Theater here in downtown Los Angeles. Brought to you by Sean Porter Promotions. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Live from Los Angeles. That means you dirty. <laughs> that means I'm moist. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> that means you dirty. His hands are <laughs> and moist. <laughs> Hey, that, before we start, there's an Eminem song somewhere. <laughs> hey, before we start, I got a I got a disclosure for me, and you know Carson feels the same way. I haven't talked to him about it, but I know Carson. Oh, all right, all right. So, matter of fact, you, I'm going to you. This is not for you because you did a great job. Thank you. But you f up this all the time. Uh, if you're going to invite me and Carson to your house for a barbecue, and it's not buffet style, don't invite me. <laughs> I I. When we got I make about sure that, I got time. enough we food <laughs> for everybody, and there ain't nothing left over. That's what nah, I'm trying to I do. Me and Carson don't agree with that. <laughs> no, you have to. You have to err on the opposite side. You have to err like, yeah, we might have some leftovers to take care. Because this dude got plenty of leftovers, don't you? Of yeah. course, he's gonna be. Yeah. In my man, you got like four stacks of cupcakes. <laughs> you, did, you did it right. I peaked it. Yeah. You did it yeah. right. So, so mad the, cookies. Apparently, there's just something going on where. So yesterday, for context, we were at. Sean Zaitel's son's birthday party. Yes. Shout out to time. Leo. Shout out to big Leo. Yeah, shout yep. out to Leo. Had a great time there hanging out all day. Three of um, And Ant and Sean were matching. Literally the same shirt yesterday. Both had the Tupac UNLV shirt. Yeah. And then now, here you guys are. Tic-tac-toe, three in a row. Hey. <laughs> Top and bottoms. Uh, oh, oh. And first off, it's for Juneteenth. There you go. Ha yesterday. And, and happy Father's Day. Juneteenth. Happy Juneteenth. Happy yeah. Father's Day. But yeah, we had a good time yesterday. Hey, but you guys are just gonna match hey, forever. Thank apparently. you for I don't get none of that. Hey, hey, hey. Why you hey thank you for thank you for your services. Yeah, no doubt. You didn't match. I don't know what I did. Thank you for your services. Juneteenth. No, 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 no. You can't say that. No, no, you can't say that. You didn't match them. But you didn't tell me happy Father's Day. Like you just looked at but you just looked at him right now. I was looking at I was looking at Zytel because I haven't told him happy Father's Day yet. I told you, I told you guys this morning. No, we had a good time. We haven't Okay, yes. Ryan Hafey, happy Father's Day. <laughs> hey, Joe? No, no, no. Happy you don't get it till you you oh. gotta cut your mustache. And then yeah. and then you'll get it. Yeah, I don't know who you are right now. And also Ryan, <laughs> Ryan Hafey, who who is our producer, great, just overall. It great kills guy. it. Kills it. He is he is, stands by that the shirts you can get at the porterway.com are the best workout shirts. Mm. Oh uh, shout out to my man Martrell. <laughs> no bias whatsoever in that statement from yeah. Ryan. Shout out to my man Martrell. He his wife believes it's the best comfy shirt to chill in at home. So, so it's pretty much anything. Yeah, so and speaking great of, material. Speaking of clothes, like I said before we got on the show, I got to stop coming to work like this. So, so yeah, I apologize to the fans almost damn near. He had a while. long night. Yeah, yeah, I did, I did. It was your son's birthday. That's a good excuse, but what about the other 17 weeks? That was one of the I'm concerns sure. when, I, when, when the podcast was getting started. It's only so so wardrobe. No, not, not, not just Sean's, because Sean didn't start with, it, with yeah. us. But the, the, the concern was... If you're professional, if you're who blah, 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 you can't have, I said, I'm oh. going to let them rock the way they rock. Hey, and it's going to be, yeah. it's going to be. And it's did, funny because. You that initially. Too. No, no, no. Never. Did I? Yeah, no, yeah, I never yeah, did. You did, did yeah. Yeah. And yeah, we were yeah. like, nope. I just, yeah. I was like, yo, what y'all going to do? But it was, it was like, it was a dead issue from the beginning for <laughs> yeah, me. As it should have been. But pajamas, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's Las Vegas in the summer. You know, you can't dress. You got to be comfortable. But your big brother's closet, you know what I'm saying? He said he's even cooler in Mayweather. That's a punchline. You talking to me? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Your little brother's closet. Whose closet did you get that from? I just went in my room, my closet room, and I'm, I picked it up. I feel through. ashamed for your room. You know what's the worst closet. part? You know what's the worst part, guys? I guess Stephen A. Smith, Skip Bayless, they've been having their little back and forth the last couple little, days. A little tiffed, if you will. Yeah, Skip Bayless really? goes. Yeah, he says, one thing that let me know Stephen A. was, was great and I wanted to work with him was he always wore a suit to work. And uh, that that showed me how serious he was. And I imagine your father talked to you about that, too. You just seem like that kind of man as well, that you dress for success. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, I got to take some notes on that. But yeah, that was oh, interesting. Sean, Sean dresses dress like he's listening to old doo-wop records from the 50s. <laughs> I told Dre, uh, we were at the at the uh, Hall of Fame, and he spilled something on his pants. And he was just wilding. Like, water, six, six piece water, and, 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 and napkins. Right water and napkins. I'm like, Dre, let it go. He said, man, I hate this, man. This always happens to me, man. This ever happened to you, man? I can't stand that. I said, Dre, what you got to do is start wearing a suit at home. Once you can accomplish wearing a suit at home and not getting it dirty, you can go out in public and wear a suit and not, and not get it dirty. He said, man, I can't wear one at home. I said, that's how it's done. I said, look I, at me. I'm clean. And that's why SOG <laughs> is who he is. I'm going to side with him here on not wearing a suit at the house. But 
Uh, real quick, everybody, we're, we we want to thank Blue Wire Studios, of course, <laughs> yeah, always, Inside the Wind, yeah. Inside the Wind Hotel it's and jump, Casino. It's jumping today. Uh, today is Father's Day, yeah. and I decided to give myself a spa day. So I'm gonna check out the Wind Spa when I leave here. Mm. Hey, oh, did you yeah, did y'all see what I got for Father's Day? No, what you? Got? Oh, I actually did see. Half that. sleep, like you gotta wake up, you gotta wake up. I'm like, wake up for what? I got a whole damn uh billboard on the two fifteen in Eastern. Yeah. No, you don't. Yeah, he does. Hundred percent. Oh, for, you, for, for your business? No, for your business. Yeah. Hold his, on, his, you his didn't business, send that. His business of being a father. Uh, I don't want to see it. Send it to them. Okay, okay we'll put it in at the end of the show. Well, you can send. You can send. No, it I want to wait. I want to wait. Wow. I want to see it at the end yeah. of the show. Send it now, and we'll, okay. we're going to show it at the end of the show. Yes, uh, Sammy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I was like, what is going on? She's like, I got you a billboard because you're great dad. Pastor Randall got one too. Okay. But he's a pastor. I, 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 yeah, I, and a Hall of Fame quarterback. And a Hall of Fame I'm a podcast. And, okay. and it's a Hall of and, Fame. And, Hall of fame and, what, and once was a? Hmm. <laughs> and, no, I still go out and do it. And is a rookie rookie of the year in the father category. I would say. Yeah, hey, absolutely. Top, hey, top five, dead or alive. Hey, he, hey, yeah. He's holding yeah, it down. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Yeah, I don't know that many fathers out there in their rookie year, but right. definitely hey, holding it down lie. 100. Hey, I, I steal a little bit from everybody. My man Joe, my man Sean, Sean. I don't steal nothing from him. I struggle. Yeah. I struggle. I struggle I, 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 once, you pop, <laughs> once you pop up with a mustache, that'll be your, his contribution. Hey, who does he look like? It was a movie. There's I, nothing I, good I, about it. All right, I can't get it in my head. <laughs> it's a, hey, that stash. Okay. He's got right. the points that he looks like he can make love I, for four I didn't want to say that. Oh. I didn't want to say that. Oh. You know, he's a family man. His you kids know, watch the show. Looks like. Okay, his yeah. kids watch the show. Shout out to all his kids. Yeah. Take a headshot. I don't. Usually, I'm the master of transitions. I have nothing <laughs> on that. I don't know. I don't know where to go from there. From I went, the to, show I went to Martin's reunion this past week. Okay. There yeah. You go. Wednesday. That was tight. That's a great effing show. How about that? Huh? Yeah, I did there. <laughs> go ahead. Uh. So and it was and it was cool. So it was the premiere of the Martin reunion yeah. that they they had already shot it and everything like that. So BT Plus. Um. It's on BT Plus. If you guys want to check it out, I encourage you to check this out because. If you grew up watching Martin, if you if you still watch Martin now, like I'm still on BET at night watching Martin, still got it recorded and all that. It is, as they continue to say through the night, one of the greatest shows of all time. There's a shot of me and Martin. Uh, I've had a couple of opportunities to meet him now. And uh, right there, he just was telling me, he was telling me congratulations for uh, for everything that I've done in my sport. And, uh, you know, c congratulations on retirement and stuff like that. But the, um, the show was tight because... Uh, the guy, no one had seen it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, look, look. And then the other one goes down. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Uh, and he had good form whenever he messes around and shout. I, I guess he boxed as a yeah, kid a little box. bit. Yep, yeah, yeah. So I think out there in the DC area, he yeah. was a fighter. Yeah, which got a lot of good fighters. Yeah. So yeah. those yeah. are good gyms out there. But they did. So they did the reunion episode and um, RIP to Tommy. You, uh, yeah, RIP, <laughs> RIP, uh, Big Tommy Four. Uh, listen. Shh. None of no one no one at the none of the cast had seen the show since it had been edited and all that kind of stuff. So this was like a it was a premiere for us. Okay. But it was also gotcha. a premiere for them yep. watching the show as well. And so Cole was there, uh Tisha Campbell was there. I, I hate that I, I always forget. Anthony Carl Payne uh is Cole. Uh Tashina Ar uh Tashina was not there. I don't think she was there. But Tisha Campbell was there, and of course Martin was there, and you could just see like as it was going. These were these were real uh responses and and uh from them like during during the show. So it was tight, man. It was it really was amazing to see where they are now, how they spoke on the way the show was formed and how it carried on for five seasons. And um, as y'all can imagine, a lot of it was was just off the cuff. Yeah. And and as they continued to say through the show, they they just had to keep up with Martin. And then they started to challenge Martin as well. They said their their goal was to make Martin laugh. Every episode, if we can make Martin laugh, we we accomplished it. Break character, and then yeah, and then Martin said that his goal for the for the entire cast was to make the crowd laugh. If we can not only make them laugh, make them stomp, we know we're doing something great. And they said show after show, that's what they got, and we we definitely reaped the benefits of of what they created. I think we're about what a, they were a minute from the glasses coming off. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 I'm I'm, cute. I'm I came in here like under this. your hat or something. No, um, yeah, Damn, he's so smart. Mar Martin, so smart. Martin might be, might be like. <laughs> but then a, you lose the effect. It might be top three <laughs> or or maybe head. number one of shows you can rewatch a thousand times. Yeah. And laugh out loud. Like yeah. There's, no, there's shows you look back and you're like, that show's pretty funny or, or you enjoy it. But that's one where it's like, I've seen this. I know exactly what's going to happen. The Nino Brown moment. 
might be one of the greatest television moments in history. You got to download BT Plus. I'm going to continue to do this. They talked about that part. The best. And I, I think I mentioned it to you, right? I'm not sure if you... I'm okay, so that. so they, they this is what they said. They said, uh, Martin asked for a real dog. Oh, you told me about it. Okay. Yeah. Martin asked for a real dog. And they told him that they were going to that they were gonna give him a real dog. Then they of shoot. They don't have a real dog for him. They just got this prop. And Martin says to them, are, are you sure this dog is going to stand up? It's going to sit up? Whatever I needed to do, I can make this happen with the dog. And they assured him that that was going to happen. You fast forward when they're recording the episode... Yeah. When he said, when he puts him down, he says, "Sit." It wasn't intended for yeah, him to fall over. Right. And what he, I just, it's just genius all through the the show. Yeah. And then when you see them talk about it, you just see how much genius it actually was. And it was it was special being there. Shout out to Afrian Crockett, who was the was the host. Um, I don't know if y'all know, but but Afrian been around for a minute. Yeah. Like the first or second, like the second season of Def Jam. Like this dude been around yeah. since the early nineties. And is now finally starting to really take off and and hold his own. So do. I was happy to see him be be the one that they chose to to um be the uh the 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 host of the show. Uh, everybody else was there. Earthquake was there. Russell Peters, who might come down, doubt it, but he's actually here tonight. Oh, he's upstairs. He, Billy, yeah, yeah. Billy, he did a show last Billy, night. Billy so. Sly Williams in the building. Sly was there. Sly, of course, is how I got there. Yeah. Um, Barack, who is Sly's brother, that, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. Barack so Barack up. was there. Go back and yeah. watch the motivational Monday we did with with Sly. He had some good Martin stories. When we yeah, were there. and yeah. just about Martin the person. Yeah, but yeah. So I think Nino Brown and then GTD and not Javante Tank. Day. And they talk. They talked about yeah. that, of course, as well. Every so. time I see a GTD hat for Tank, yeah. Oh, this is what you think of. <laughs> Immediately, every time. Pulled the, pulled, pulled the underwear out, out uh, of the coat pocket. Yeah, right, 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 pocket. Right, right. But, All, The whole nine, and they yeah. did do a tribute. To Tommy Ford on the show as well. Um, so yeah, no, that was my quick uh, Martin story. I also got a chance to meet Trey the Truth, who okay. I was not aware was is from Houston. I didn't know that until we started talking. So I, our, I our, listened to their our, music. Our guy you know TJ I mean? right now is somewhere just shaking his head. I didn't know. I just I shook know. my head. My guy TJ know. put me on to every Houston and Texas rapper like of all time. <laughs> it was Zero, Trey, Chameleonaire. It was come all. Come on, no, guys. come on. You get got to name that guy. Devin the dude. Nah, the come Scarface? on. Nah, Slim Thug. Paul Wall, a <laughs> Mike Jones, Crawling similar to an ant because he's low to the earth. Hey, hey, that was, ain't on my shit. <laughs> People's <laughs> feelings get hurt when they figure out what he's worth. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Get all right. Eighty fours, yeah, out. out. <laughs> it was, uh, it was definitely some stars in the building, and and um, it was, it was cool to be a part of that. Yeah, so. some stars in the building as I tell us yesterday watching the fights. Oh, oh yeah. Ant, Ant with two T's. Yeah. Sean Ant, Porter was Sean, there. Carson. Somebody even said Sean Leo. Porter was was. Number, Number one on their pound for pound list. That's Ooh. crazy. Yeah. The, the, remember the dude that was at watching the, the fights the with us? Yeah. 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 Sam. Sam. Trust with the, me. With the beard? Yeah. yeah. There he was said, some, was his he, we were messing with him. Like, oh, we know you love boxing. You want, he's like, oh, yeah. And we're like, what's your top 10 pound for pound? He's like, uh, number one, Sean Porter. I just pulled out my phone yeah, and started it. looking up Twitter or something. Like that. <laughs> the second I heard Sean Porter come out, I was like, oh, I'm, I'm good. I'm good on this conversation. I said, where's Sean? Man, he should have heard yeah. that. Yeah. But we had a good time yesterday watching the fights. I haven't. Never been to Zytel's house. We enjoyed it. Watched um, so the top rank card, the fights earlier on were a lot of the prospects. Right. Um, <laughs> Troy Isley did great. Got a knockout win. Shushu got a stoppage win. Um, is it Cash? Is Felix Cash Diaz? flow. Floyd Cash. Diaz. Um, he got a win. Look, look good. He's um, fast. He has fast hands. Yeah. He's got speed. And then outside of that, um, <laughs> I'm trying to think who else. If there were, oh, and uh, Jahai Tucker. Also right. got good good performance there, but you went back and watched them. Yeah, yeah, I was watching them. I said I was going to, and I didn't. I assumed you didn't. That's yeah. why I kind of just zoomed through them. I assumed yeah. I was the only one that watched them. You know, but I want to you support did. the youngest. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no, they all look good. Troy was, I think, his fight. He was dealing with a guy that I think they said was maybe also an MMA fighter, so he was a little like herky jerky mm -hmm. and um, did good. He the guy was pretty rough, and he and he did well dealing with that, which is something you're gonna have to deal with eventually. Yeah. So, um, no, I thought they all did good. Pass with flying colors. And yeah, then, that Clay Collard style, Carson. He did. Yeah, okay. he, he was just his movement was awkward, and then he kept like he would get hit with a shot, and then he's laughing. It, it, it was just kind of one of those guys you have to fight as you as you're coming up. But um, and then the main card, the co-main, Ro Macy, Macy El Train. Shout out to Salas. Is, and uh, no, shout out Coach Wade. Coach, yeah, Coach no, 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 Wade. No, 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 no. Shout out Silas. No, call Coach Wade. No, shout out Coach Wade. <laughs> Shout out to Coach Wade, who's yeah. who's definitely a part of him turning the corner as a pro. Let me yeah. let me let yeah. me real quick. Let me say why you have to shout out Silas first. Mm -hmm. This is why 
strength and conditioning is just now getting into the sport of boxing. Boxing is everybody is very protective of their of their of their fighters, of their I'll just go ahead and say it, their their their, their money making their investment their investments, yeah. and nobody it's like no no hands off hands off, and so the first time or the second time you have a strength and conditioning coach in the program. And then things start to change or things start to look better, whatever the case may be. Everybody looks at the at the strength and conditioning coach. All the while, the head coach is the one who's put in all the work for all these years and done everything. So we we definitely have to give give respect to the head coach before we move down the line. We'll yeah. get to Coach Wade, of course. Yeah. But the worst thing we could do is say, Congratulations, Coach Wade. Thanks, Coach Wade. Da 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 da. And then now there's something in their camp because they're hearing people uh, mm. praising Wade more than they're praising the entire camp or more than they're praising the head coach or the fighter themselves. So we just got to be, yeah. you know, maybe, we got to be mindful of that. Maybe my one of my favorite coaches in boxing and my favorite strength and conditioning coach, Salas and Wade combined yeah. in there. Ooh, I okay. don't like him because he, he <laughs> trains Cuba. All the Cuban <laughs> fighters, though. he's a legend. Um, legit he's smart. Of course. I talked to him, he's yeah. smart. And so Abraham Nova yesterday, who I guess we should mention who he fought. Um, <laughs> good good first round was, was decently close. Um, Abraham Nova, in my opinion, he had the mascot there. Didn't see the mascot in the corner. And that not cost saying, him. Not saying that's what cost him. But <laughs> that was the issue the whole it night. Could have been. But um, Robesi Ramirez hit some. I think he, he ended up dropping left him hand. twice. Beautiful left Put him hand. down once yeah. and then. Lined him up. Yeah. Well, they say parked him. Yeah. yeah. Parked him in the yeah. corner. Tim Bradley. Tim Bradley. Yeah, that was a good one. He put him in a handicapped parking yeah. spot, too. Yeah. I looked at Sean. I said, you dream of shots like yeah. that, right? Yeah. He's, his eyes got his, yeah. Open, <laughs> yeah. Him. yeah. Open, opened him up with the right hand and then left hand straight down the pipe. And, but, and back to what Sean was saying with the trainer uh, yeah. situation in boxing, the, the the legendary wild card gym where you help become, grow as a professional mm -hmm. early in your pro career. Mm -hmm. I remember walking in, there's this huge sign there that says, do not speak to other people's fighters. Oh wow! Do not mm. try to steal other people's fighters. Damn! So, and that's when I was like, "Wow, this is this Damn. is real in boxing." You know, guys. Hey, man, let me hold the mitts with your fight. The other coach is not having it. Yep. You know, because of what you're talking about, uh, yep. protecting that investment. And then for Salas, I had to jump out and give him credit because when I got a chance to see him work with his guys in the the lead up to the Uga Spence fight, he over and over again that shot that he knocked him out with, he makes sure his guys know how to sit on their backhand when they throw it. I mean, mm -hmm. he will make them just do it, drill it in them over and over again to sit on that shot. And and you saw Robesi do that. And mm -hmm. I guess that's one of the main things terrific, decorated amateurs struggle with when they win their gold medals is sitting on them shots and, you know, making that adjustment of the pros. And that's what Salas has done for him mm -hmm. and Coach Wade keeping him in great condition. Yeah. So, you know, just great by Robesi, yeah. Salas, and, and Larry. Yeah, and Robesi gave him a very, gave Wade like a very quick shout out yeah. in, the, in the post fight. Took it was my man like, hat and everything. Yeah, Coach Wade, yeah, offered his hat back. That's that's dedication. And then, and then, <laughs> and then got it back. Took it team, back after team all player. the sweat. Yeah, that guy's a team player. Shout but, out to Coach Wade. Uh, how long? Nova, Nova what if Coach Wade would have gave him a CLW hat? Oh, hold on, I got one more. <laughs> right, 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 right. I think CoachLarryWade.com maybe you get my CLW hat. But uh, Did he start off with Salas? Uh, Robesi did. Yeah. I, I, I don't want to. Because he, he actually lost his debut fight. Right. Yeah, so, he, so he's a two-time Olympic gold medalist. Beat King Tug in 2012. And then Shakur in 2016. Mm -hmm. Impressive. And, and was supposed to be like the what, man. Yeah, the what's man. What's the nine and one record for? Because the Cuban leaving Cuba, Cuba so late? Oh, yeah. Why, yeah. yeah, he just started. Yeah. Okay. He, yeah. yeah. Okay. But then, like you said, his debut. So he's like this prospect <laughs> and then loses his debut. And it's like, uh, he okay. got payback, though, five he did. four yeah. fights later. Yeah, he, he, ended, he ended up getting him back. But um, yeah, he and he's looked, he's continued to look good. His, his fight before, he had a great knockout before the fight with Nova yesterday. Um, what was that for the WBO? So Navaretti, he's lined up for your boy Navaretti. He's gonna line Navaretti up and park him. No. But let's go back to the fight real quick. <laughs> yeah, of course. <clears throat> because Nova, in my opinion, what I was looking at, it looked like Nova just lost the mental battle. It looked like, and that was one. And then number two, it looked like, shout out to Coach Wade, just looked like Robesi is just very confident in his power, confident that he's strong enough to take the shots. You could see him, he was waving on Nova, and then he was just covering up. And then and he kept opening up and kind of like laughing, like, ha. Huh? Yeah, like it Didn't was a me. mental, it, it, it like he broke Nova very quickly. He went to cruise control ASAP. Yeah, yeah, and broke Nova very quickly mentally. Nova's like, instead of continuing to stay stay um, structured, and use his jab and, and step around, look for openings and things like that, you can see Nova got desperate very quickly yeah. and started to throw some wide shots very quickly. Why? 
second, third round, he's doing that. Yeah. Why? Open him it up. was a mental. Open up. He br- he broke mentally and was like, I got to get this guy. He's coming at me. Stay relaxed and continue to stay behind your jab and stay structured. He got he got broken mentally, and then it was and it was a wrap beyond that for uh for Nova. Yeah. On the other side of that, Robesi, he just looks like he's very strong. Mm-hmm. He looks very confident in the work that he's putting in. Yeah. I didn't expect him to fight like that. I thought he was going to be a little more slicker and a little bit more from the outside. He he's like walked him down. I'm with Wade. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Hey, yeah. Silence, <laughs> silence. Yeah. Yeah. In silence. Let's go. <laughs> and it also factored in. I think it was. I think it was Dre that mentioned after the stoppage that. It was either Dre or uh, or Tim was saying that they didn't like Nova's answers in the fighter meeting. That Nova just kept pretty much saying, "Yeah, I'm bigger, I'm faster, I'm stronger. Mm-hmm. Like I have all this experience." So it seemed like he's just like, "Oh yeah, I got this. Like there's no way you can beat me." Yeah. And then, kind of what you were saying, then he gets in there, and Robesi's like, "Yep, you didn't hurt me." Keeps opening up the guard, like, "Yep, keep throwing, wasting your shots." And it took me having experiences for me to understand that not everybody's gonna come to the ring the way I expect them to come to the ring. While I expected Robesi to box from the outside, use a fast jab, step around, be slick, do some feinting, and things of that nature, completely different. He walked down Nova. Yeah. From the opening bell, I, yeah. you remember I came in like halfway through the first round. You, you did your best to try to give that round. <laughs> yeah, I tried. Yeah, we all went, what? We all went, yeah. I'm rooting, I'm rooting for the, mas- the guy with the mascot, you know what yeah. I'm saying? I'm but, anyway, but anyway, he just came to the ring different. And maybe that might have had something to do with how Nova responded. Yeah. Mentally, it was, what is this? You're not moving the way I expected you to move. My, It looked like my training prepared me to have forward momentum this yeah. whole fight, and you're coming at me, and it just it did not work out yeah. from Nova so, from a mental standpoint. What's, what's the difference between what get, the high guard, right? Some guys, they put it up, and everything's getting through. Other guys like Robesi last night, like Carson said, he's catching, and Nothing's getting through. Winky, right? What's the difference between the guy who has success defensively just on that high guard and the guy that doesn't? Usually the guy that has success doing that, number one, they, they've they trained like that. It's not something they just, just all of a sudden say, oh, this is what I'm going to do. And then the other side of that is they, they've, they've taken those punches on the arms and they've learned how to actually defend it opposed to letting the, the gloves – hit the face and things of that nature. So look at the guy like Winky. Winky was so comfortable in that. That's where Winky came from. Guys who are comfortable in that, they can be very effective using that that boxing style. But guys who are not comfortable, number one, it takes you being comfortable. If you're not comfortable, you're second guessing, punches are going to get through and you're not going to be effective with it. Some some people have high guards and some people just have their hands up high because one of them is blocking the shots, right? The yeah. other one, you got it there, and they're just uppercuts, yeah. straight punch right yeah. down the pipe. Yeah. But, um, yeah, and then going forward for for Obese, also, I think Abraham Nova will be fine. I think he'll, he's still a good fighter at 26. Yeah, tighten some things up. Yeah, he, like he's still he's, he's still right there. Yeah, he's still got talent. I don't know. Um, I don't know for Robesi. Mm-hmm. I do know. Mm-hmm. I, I, I don't want to see him in there with Navarrete. But he's no one contender, Carson. He, he has the what the. Does he maybe Super want to fight Shakur again? Fought him in the amateur. I kind of like that. Oh, it's not a bad amateur. idea. Oh. Not again. Let, let Shakur get a revenge of yeah, his gold let, medal let, match. Yeah, you could build up that storyline, which top rank would do. Mark Kriegel. He would say <laughs> that <laughs> Shakur lost the gold medal match. The man's a poet, Carson. <laughs> but he won something hey, more. Hey, stare at the camera. <laughs> exactly. Stare at the camera, though. No, I'm not good. Oh, okay. it, I'm telling you, there, there's anything. And I love Mark Kriegel is really good at what he does. It Absolutely. just makes me laugh that it's like, and I ordered a sandwich today. Carson said he could add drama to anything. anything. <laughs> I want him to leave my voicemail. Leave Carson a message, and he'll get it back. But yeah, yeah I think I think I think that's a storyline you could easily play up, and I think it's actually kind of a fun storyline. Um, I don't think he beats Sir Kerr. Sir Kerr. Sleeps <laughs> yeah, I don't think he beats him or makes it that's, drastically competitive. That's but easy work. It'd be a fun fight, I think. Let me pause right there yeah. because this is. What people have a problem with boxing, we want to see the best against the best. Mm-hmm. The problem is this right here. The f- the promoters and matchmakers, they got to find the timing. And it's got to be perfect timing. Got to make sense. That storyline, to me, is an amazing storyline for two fighters to have getting into the boxing ring. I always say that that's one thing that's lost in the boxing ring. You guys want to see the animosity. You want to see us mad at each other and all those types of things. And we're just like... I'm fighting for my family. Yeah. Like, and he's standing in the way. That's it. 
If I if I if it's somebody else, I fight somebody else. There's really no true animosity there, right. and we and sometimes we have to build around other stories to make to make a fighting a fight as exciting as it could be from that from that standpoint. So then here we have a situation where the the, the storyline is perfect, but is the timing perfect for both fighters? You know what I mean? And so when people are so mad and they're like, why don't we? Why can't we just have the best against the best on and so forth? You don't want to you don't want to waste this moment this opportunity now. Where maybe a year later it's better. Maybe two years, year and a half, two years is better. You never know. Yeah. Which is why promoters and, and matchmakers are so so um so uh patient. They, they, so patient, but they 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 work very uh safely. Um I'm I'm I'm, not a, uh, I'm losing my uh cautious. No, cautious, yeah, yeah. They're, yeah. they're very cautious, thank you, with how they match their fighters in a match like this. I, I would I would love to see that whenever yeah. it happens. But like if it happens tomorrow, is it great? Is it is it is it the best timing for it? Yeah, I mean Robase would have to move up to 30, obviously, is is one factor, but, yeah. but Coach Wade is there for that. And um the other side of that is you get the Deontay Wilder, Joshua. You miss your moment. Yeah. And I and I guess Yeah, there you go. And I guess that was a big ass point? moment they yeah. missed. Yo. And from my from my <clears throat> standpoint, I'm not sure if when we're looking at that, if I'm like yeah, but Shakur could fight blank, or he could fight him. There are certainly some options, but it's not like Shakur has it's, at one thirty all of these guys. Like yeah. we're like, oh yeah, fight this guy. So yeah, yeah. go fighter. And, yeah, and he's headed to thirty five eventually. Yeah, so this might so this might be, be the time weight wise the time to make. But I get what Sean's saying. Why yeah. not let Ramirez become a world champion in yeah. his own career? Get closer to the level of a Stevenson before you make it. Well, I, I think just, he has I, to go I, through I, those guys to get a title, right? One of those guys. Right. So my you'd thing, have to go through it at 26. It would be Navarrete or Vargas. And my thing is, I just Vargas want him to have outside. the right experiences and be Leo. and be good enough and, and ready enough. Right. I I don't know if he's ready enough now. He doesn't but, add the seasoning Shakur well, has. The, yeah, I mean, well, everybody yeah. would look at his amateur pedigree. Yeah, like 400 amateur fights. And say, you know, well, if not now, when? Yeah. And he and you despite know, his uh, despite his somewhat limited record, I think he's nine and one now. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's not young. He's not twenty two with nine and one. He's twenty eight. Like, yeah, like he's getting close to thirty. So yeah, probably is probably a good good time for that. But um, maybe let him in that and, ready and fight first. After all, when I was gonna say maybe I'm maybe. making too much of it. Yeah. I'm just I wanted to let everybody know like when you when you do look at even the the fact that this fight that fight will bring a, a terrific story. Yeah, you know it just. I want people to be patient when these fights are getting made. Yeah, you, it took some time, but now we're gonna get Terence Crawford and Earl Spence Jr. It took time. Unfortunately, some things have happened, but had those things not happened, this probably is perfect timing for both fighters, money wise. Yeah, even from a money and perspective, and that's what that's what we're all here for, right? Yeah, <laughs> so, no doubt. Well, the fighters are, you know. Um, and then main event. Hmm. Better be Evan Smith, two heavy hey, hitting dudes. Let me get out in front of it. Yeah, go ahead. Arthur. <laughs> <laughs> I pick better be able to win the fight. Yeah, no problem. But, but uh, I underestimated this guy. He, yeah. he, he, I always knew, he, I mean, he was the champion at light heavyweight. So obviously he's a, a terrific fighter, but he's better than I gave him credit for. When I was saying heading into Canelo versus Bivol, this guy would get eaten up by Canelo. He'll walk into the counters. His feet were really impressive last night. For the first time, uh, you know, in a while he had to box and I was impressed by how good he was on his feet. He walked, uh, he did what, what tank did to Roley Romero. He walked this guy into a right hand in the first round. We did. I didn't know that was in his bag. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and obviously we know he, he, when it's time, he knows how to go and get you. He yeah. said, let me get out of front. And, and <laughs> so, so that's not aging. Well, that they've never fought to be yeah. fair, but that's not aging. Well, Canelo would smoke better be And so would David, you know, I, I, I would love to see David fight him, but he is a Ooh. he's an exceptional Ooh. fighter, man. That's one right there. And, and he ran through a, a tough, a, a tough. strong, strong yeah. mother. Tough. You know what, man? A world champ. Yeah, but but one in terms of physical strength. Yeah, you know, technically limited. Sean kept saying doesn't move his head. And, uh, but but <laughs> but you know, not to be mean, he was just yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And, and, to be fair, all of us said that at some point. We're like, dude, just a little yeah. bit, just get off the. I, line I followed his bit. lead, you know. Yeah, like, but, I think the Bevo Canelo fight uh, kind of helped build up this. Better BF and Bevo fight down Absolutely. the line. Absolutely. Yeah. Because everybody, I was watching last night. I was like, I've seen this guy, but let me pay attention. Yeah. I was impressed. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think Smith should have stayed on the jab. He got hit with a big shot and was like, I'm going to get you with a big shot. That's where he yeah. after. Yes. What, 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 what did I yell? Which one of y'all said Don't he be a can't? Hero? Yeah, well, he always said that. <laughs> I think you said he yeah. came out too hot. Yeah, he, he said, did. Yeah. He did. Yeah. yeah. He did. And, but, and I think you mentioned that with Nova earlier. I got to get him back now. Yeah. And that, 
That's your problem. Yeah, that, that's yeah. That whole. I mean, that's always been your thing. You get it with a shot. <laughs> I gotta get it back. <laughs> yeah, I felt like that was a problem too. <laughs> but it, it served you well. You were good at the improvisation, in and out, yeah. move the head. Da, 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 da. Yeah. You, you know, the other fighters got. He wasn't like that. He wasn't. He got none of that. He got none of that. He did. He did. He did. He did. He did. But yeah. other fights got to be more hater, methodical. Man. Well, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hater. <laughs> yeah, it was. Why'd you go off on somebody like that? When I he don't just, know. When he drop a combo. Just letting it. I'm not sure if I, I'm not sure. I've never I seen you drop did you a ever combo. Like, like, Relax. Hands, what are you talking you about? You ever threw a combo? Are you kidding me? Uh, no, I'm talking about like, did you ever like really like let your hands go? Like a uh, six punch combination? Maybe. Yeah. Uh, Thurman? But he wasn't landing. Danny Garcia see. in the middle of the fight. They brand new. It's it's hey. okay. It's okay. You don't have to. Hey, you you have to explain. Hey. You don't have to explain. Hey. hey, you hit somebody with an uppercut, and so I was like, "Now you on? Now you on? Now you on?" <laughs> no, remember it was like against fast. Daddy. It was the it was fight. Dan, was, it was Danny? fight was going back and forth. It was some some middle round, middle you know seven eight or nine, and Sean it was the off? moment in the fight where Sean started to separate himself. And okay. I remember he got off with six, seven, eight punch combination. Okay. And, and he just started to outwork Danny. He was watched that one. Yeah. Hey, yeah. about the 10th round. Yeah. Appreciate you, man. Hey, 10th round. I was, <laughs> I, why, 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 why do we have to justify that, me right I mean, now? That, hey, the 10th round. It's because we share the name. Hey, I got on your ass. You heard me. I don't remember. Uh, and I, I, I was not well, happy. Well, you were there? <laughs> I think it was the right hand. I was on the couch. <laughs> I mean, I was, uh, see, just to show you all there. So with yesterday, like I said, I was yelling, don't be a hero. Because I'm like, <laughs> Joe Smith, I get you can do this against certain guys. Better be able to somebody that you want to just go fire for fire with. Yeah. And my gosh, that dude hits like a truck. When He's, when guys go to certain punches like over and over and over, I I I have the understanding that that's what they trained for. I believe they trained seeing that maybe the overhand right was their was the key to success for them because I mean he came out the blocks yeah. throwing the overhand right. And while I was rooting for Joe and I'm excited about it, and I want mm -hmm. that, that right hand to land. One side of it is, okay, that's what you prepare for, but you got to be able to make an adjustment. It's not there yet. My dad would always say, it's not showtime until it's showtime. Mm, what, what, <laughs> no, no. what he meant by that, what he meant by that was no big overhand rights, no big leaping left hooks until it's showtime, until you know that guy is in position for it, until you know it's time. And when you come out, out the blocks, and you throw a couple of overhands, and they came close. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's like, mm -hmm. really, 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 really yeah, just once. a little bit. Yeah. And, and, throw, and, and like, you know, try to set it up. Those, those, you know what I mean? He never tried to set anything up, and it, it ended up, you know, just really costing him at the end. And that's, that's stop, the sequence to start the stoppage with those uppercuts. Oh, and, oh my God. And I think oh, what Sean was saying, oh. when he's trying to force the action, he also closing the distance. That's what effed him up. Who? Smith. Oh, yeah. He closes this yeah. on himself when he's yeah. the bigger man. Yeah. yeah. Fight on the yeah. back foot. Yeah. Try to get to the deep waters. Man. But yeah. it was just it like. the deep waters. But to the uppercuts. I don't know if we have the uppercuts. It's kind of I, funny they called it that and then it ended in the second round. Yeah. I was I was very so shallow, impressed. Very shallow Super water. shallow. Yeah. Yeah. I was so impressed with the uppercuts. I mean, he went yeah. left. Yeah. He went right. And then he went over the top. I, yeah. That's boxing at his finest mm. right there. And y'all know me. Like, when you double up with, the, with one hand, <laughs> there you, go. you get my heart with those. Give my heart with okay. those. Oh, I believe yeah, you know, shorter, more compact punches. Yeah, those there are it is. Good. Boom, oh boom. And yeah, you you talked about that yeah. about um because you can see once they to... open up in exchange, yeah, shorter, just shorter, yeah. more because the shorter yeah. compact punches. While you're doing all this wide shit, you're getting stuff right. Yeah, keep yeah. your hands down. Right, Don't cool. do that no more. <laughs> but he keeps doing that. Big what? time, big time stoppage for better BF <laughs> Joe Smith again. Whether you rated him as the you know best guy 175, probably not. But like Ant said earlier, he was a champion and. A sturdy dude, like very. If anything, he's I think a strong, one of the most sturdy. Yeah, physical guy, and and better be have made him look like he wasn't. He yeah, was like yeah, I'll get you out of there quick. Um, the rumor before the fight was they were trying to that Bob Aaron was trying to make better be have an Anthony Yard. No, don't want to see that. If I was Anthony Yard, Lions in the comp. Yeah, and then, <laughs> and then afterwards, and somebody, somebody tweeted this, and they said, you know, better be have is gonna knock his block off because there was an interview, and they said, yeah. Um, Anthony Yard said, "You maybe you and Bevo or you and Smith are slow. Slow, and better be was like what Bevo said that about? No, no, no. no Anthony Yard. Yard oh, said Yard. that about yeah. better be Ev and Smith. Uh huh. And so then whoever I don't Evan know, Korn, not, for, yeah, who like, works for Top Rank, goes Anthony yeah. Yard. Yeah, he was said like, that's who said it, and he was just like, oh, I understand. Like didn't didn't disagree. Was just like, okay, I see you. I don't there. No, I do not want to see that. Carson, fight. I don't want to see that. Bevo, Bevo, better be whatever. Yeah. Hey, co-main event, Smith Yard." I take it. Yeah. Callum Smith? Yeah. No, no. Joe Smith? Joe oh, Smith. Joe Smith. Anthony Yard 
he, he's a he's a good fighter. He's <laughs> he's kind of in that range. He got stopped by Kovalev, which was no shame in that. That's when like, Kovalev was yeah, a killer. Was a monster. But like he lost to Lynn Arthur, and then Arthur only threw the jab the whole fight. He hurt his hand. Yeah, he I'm obviously not sold gets, on yard. gets revenge and wins the rematch. Yeah. But like, yeah, I'm if you lose to Lyndon Arthur like that, better be have is knocking you clear out of the ring. But I don't know if that's the fight they have to make in the meantime because of uh, you know DAZN and top rank. Yeah, two different. I, yeah. I guess like not the not the not the worst, but I would love. How do you think? You three gentlemen, I I I still lean towards my guy. How do you think better be if Bevo goes, if that happens? Is your guy Bevo? Yeah. It's a 50-50-ish yeah, fight. Yeah, I we, would have to break down the tape and make yeah. a fight week pick. Yeah. Uh, see, the thing is, I picked Bevo before because I thought he's a better boxer. But better be have showed me he has athleticism in yeah. his feet. Mm -hmm. He has educated feet just sure. like Bevo does. So that's a great fight. I don't know who's – they could, you know, I still give the edge to Bevo. Six years younger. I still think he's a more – his style is more natural to box and better be have more had a, a big, strong physical guy come right at him. So he, yeah. he can box and he showed that. But I think Bevol is a little bit more uh, naturally suited off the back foot. And activity that, yeah. run, running his hands a little bit in combination. And, and while they both had great performances, I got to go with Bevo because he beat the pound for pound king and he made it look easy. Yeah, He, he didn't do that to look, Canelo, though. He made it look easy. He made it look easy. Yeah. He made I, it look I think easy. Canelo still won four rounds. Three. I hear you. Seven. I, think, Seven I don't remember. I don't remember. I could have five yeah. according to one of those. Man, sports. he could have yeah. got stopped too. I just yeah, he beat. I gotta go Bevo, but that's a 50-50 fight. Yeah, man. really close. Fight. That's a real good fight. Will we get it here in America? Probably. Um, yeah, probably. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Bevo uh, versus versus Better Be If is Crawford Spence at one seventy five. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's cl it's so close to fifty fifty to me. Mm -hmm. I think I think you know when we talk about those two guys, Crawford and Spence, we just look at. The overall package, the, the speed, quickness, power, agility, boxing IQ, boxing ability. I mean, a whole nine. And those guys, even though it's a different package at 175, That's a great fight. when you put those up against one another, I mean, it's, mm -hmm. it's almost like yeah. the same. Because a lot of it tells the close, tape there. and then a lot of it almost cancels each other out. You're yeah. Like, well, better be of, I think we can all agree, is clearly the harder puncher. Yeah. But it's like, yeah, but I think Bevel is pretty comfortably the faster puncher. Yeah. So it's like. You have this. You have that. Bevo's younger. Better be of has multiple titles. Like and, it's just you could wake up one week. That. It's teeter totter. Of course, well, yeah. I'm going with this. I'm yeah. going with this. Yeah. And I it's, watched that fight yesterday. I was like, <laughs> I still lean towards Bevo, but I'm like, yeah. if somebody says no. Better be of wins. I'm not going to yeah. say you have no no clue. Yeah, there's no chance. Like that's such a good fight. And kind of pulling on my fight with Spence, we 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 both did a lot of boxing, and we both were a lot, were very aggressive through the fight. It was it was like back and forth. Yeah, and I can see the same thing with Bevo and be, and better be if where one guy one round decides he wants to box, the other guy's gonna say, okay, I'm gonna try to do the best I can to, to apply some pressure and and completely flip. The game is completely different in yeah. the second round or the third round. And it, I, I do see that being like a back and forth. Who would I pick today? Uh, I don't know. Sean, you bring up Spence Porter. That's hard. You bring up Spence Porter. It literally could go that way. Well, one knockdown could change the whole fight. Yeah. Yep. yeah. It's literally that close. I, uh, and I don't. Not again. I know. And you talk I know. About, I know. Because I, I want to say better be it, but then I'm looking at the size of Bevo, and I'm looking at Bevo's jab, and I'm like, eh, I don't know. I don't know. And, and even if you go to the matter of chins, which again, styles make fights, who gets hit with shots, Bevo, I don't think has been down, but he surely was wobbled by Joe Smith. Oh, he's and been down? Has Bevo been down? Yes. And Colum Smith put him down, right? No, no, no. That's no, better no. be it. Oh, better be it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Callum Johnson. I, th I yeah, think yeah. the only okay. time oh, yeah, okay. Bevo got hurt was Smith, but he stayed up. He, it was okay. at the bell, and he stumbled to the corner. And, and better be have never took a shot like that from Smith. Right. Yeah. And then better be have has been down, like you said, Colum Johnson. So it's like the chin. It's like, well, and then they've been in there with the same guy now. We kind of did that last week with you. So far, Spence Crawford is like a measuring stick. I don't think Joe Smith is that for this moment. <laughs> but again, just depending on who gets hit with the shots. Um, yeah, that that would be it. Would be such a good fight, and it and it's one of those fights that it just, it can't really. You hate to say that, but it can't really disappoint you. Oh, stylistically, yeah, yeah. Like, is there any is there any chance that fight is boring? With the better be have knocked out. No. He's you, knocked out every opponent he's ever fought. Well, the only thing I would encourage is is for whoever gets the fight to really get people interested in the fighters. A lot yeah. of people still don't know the names. You know yeah. Bevo from beating Canelo. Mm -hmm. But then you weren't convinced that he was going to win the fight up until 10 rounds, 11 mm -hmm. rounds. And then all of a sudden you're like, 
Well, don't look over here and say that. Look <laughs> I don't know, direction. Yeah, I, well, I don't know who this Bevo guy is, but he beat Canelo. You know what I mean? The yeah. same thing for Better Be of where yeah. he that they don't really have the name to to get you kind of, I guess for the sake of words, passionate about yeah. the fight, but it will be a really good fight. So and you got to do something to really capture the 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 the, the heart and the, the thought process that this is going to be great. And a, and a benefit to that, right right exactly with what you're saying, is because there is no clear-cut A-side. Obviously, Canelo Bevo, Canelo clearly the A-side. And afterwards, we came on the next show, and we said, Bevo was kind of a funny guy. Like, he had some funny <laughs> lines in the press conference, but you didn't hear much of him because yeah. it was the Canelo show. Yeah. Canelo this, Canelo that. Who is he going to fight next? What is he yeah. going to do? Yeah. And afterwards, we're like, he's kind of funny. Yeah. Now, you don't have that. So yeah. So, you can highlight Bevo and better Bevo. There's not, like... It's I, still not I still don't know that. if the casuals come out for that. You got. Um, you just got to find yeah, it. Maybe not. Because you can. You yeah. can get anybody to watch anything. You just got to find it. Mm -hmm. Sell it right. You got to. Yeah. You just yeah. got to find you it. You got to yeah. show the belts. Well, the belts and, have to be everywhere. And yeah. it costs money. That which is you know what I mean. That that's the, the market, main thing. The yeah. It's the main thing is it, it yeah. costs money. The market. You know. It, and and like you said, Carson, he's a funny guy. Very similar guys that you know, real gentlemen. You know, yeah. the, not the type to start nothing with nobody. But my God, man, if you do. You got to get in that ring with them. Good luck to you. Yeah, yeah like, like, <laughs> it's a lot of guys, like, both of them. Well, not both. I'll say better be if he reminds me of Jason. You know what I mean? And and he has he has a Jason mentality in the ring. He wants to kill you. He wants to hurt you. You know what I mean? But outside of the ring, softer manner, you know, um, soft mannered and, and, and th all of those things, you, you can't sell a fight with that. But I, that's how I would mark you it. You can respect like, it. You know, yeah, like, here's. Freddie versus Jason or something like that. And just Shout start to, to, and Fab. Start nah, to play Jada with Kiss, it. No, Jason versus Michael Myers. I like the Freddie versus Jason because the Fab, <laughs> the Fab and Jada Kiss, top five that are alive. So one I, something like that, I think, is, is yeah. how you would get I feel casuals like to watch better, that when I When I was watching Better BF yesterday and before, I feel like I would need to try to hit him with a chair or something, wrestling style. <laughs> Like in order he, to hurt him. Yeah, he might. He might Carson be, has no confidence. You, you you feel like your hands hurt anybody? No. <laughs> Carson is the dude in the movie when he punched the dude, the dude don't even move. Yeah. And then Carson. And then, like, hand, oh, shit. and then my hands. And then my hands just completely broken. Um, yeah. No, he, he, he's the guy that made people say, oh, I, got, I, got, I got guns for people like that. Yeah, him. he just. Yeah, right. <laughs> he, I'm telling you, he just keeps walking you down. And I'm just like, you have to just slide under oh, the ring and, 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 and bash him with a chair. But. Uh, yeah, he is, he is something else. I'd love to see that fight. I don't I don't know what they'll end up doing. It, it probably it's boxing, so it probably will be Anthony Yard. Which I don't. Okay, that's fine. Um, Sometimes we just gotta <laughs> accept we're gonna get effed. Yeah, it's and, life. Yeah, and yeah, I I do think that better be a Bevo will happen. What you got? What you got? Let me, let me, let me, yeah, it looked like a light bulb. Literally, just that's on a, we bubble. have to accept it. Sometimes we're not gonna get the fight. We're gonna get. It's boxing. What was your light bulb what, thought? What I've you? learned, yeah. okay, as as a fighter is no matter who I'm in the ring with, I have to sell the fight. I have to make people interested, even when they they may not need. It's no reason for you to be interested. Everybody don't think like you, Sean. I know. So yeah. so that's why the, I'm like, so and that's that's what's sad about the sport. If we had everybody that got in the ring gave everything they had like you, but my point is, like, for me, it's a no no to say, oh, you we're you're getting an F'd in this fight. Mm -hmm. For me, and when I work for networks, I gotta I gotta give a reason for you to watch these fights, no matter what. Yeah. Even if even if I feel like you're getting effed, I can't go on TV Allegedly. and say you're getting effed. You know what I mean? So so <laughs> so then I had somebody a, a while back. I don't remember who it was, but they were telling me you guys you guys should just get in the ring. You guys should just fight. Back in the day, they just fought. Didn't matter who they was getting in the ring with. They 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 just fought. I don't remember who was telling me this, and I was like, no, I I, I want the big names. I want people to care. About why I'm getting in the ring. And gas also cost a penny back then, so time so time maybe that had something to do with that. It was it was an old head telling me yeah. this, and so I don't remember who it was, but they they were trying to basically argue me down that I should stop going for all the big names that was going to command the most money and the big and the and the the big highlights that was I this wanted. Sebastian Formello's promoter? No, <laughs> but they were just saying take some like get some TV fights. Okay, right. all the all these fights will be TV fights. And we'll and we'll, and then we'll give people an opportunity to see me no matter what, even if like so what so like so with Sebastian Formella, even though that wasn't a big name by any he didn't watch it. Did you watch it at all? Yeah, yeah I watched it. Oh, yeah. He watched it. He oh, watched it. Watched you didn't it. watch? Like you like killing my yeah. point right yeah, now. No, I watched. I watched. All right, cool. Yeah, yeah. Because even though even though you, you didn't, didn't know stoppage, but we watched even seven though, five. Even though you didn't know Sebastian yeah. Formella, you still everybody still watched me. And they got an opportunity to see me. So even though you're not getting the big name yeah. that you want, 
you still get an opportunity it's a performance. to see better beef. It's like a performance. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, in retrospect, like, are we getting effed because we're not seeing the fight we want to see? Sometimes. We're still seeing a fighter that we want to see. You know what I mean? So I think along with that, maybe I'm wrong, but maybe change the mindset. You know what I mean? No, There's a lot that need to be you're, done You're in right sport. on that because I, yeah. I went to work the next day and they're like, Sean beat the hell out of that boy. <laughs> And just casuals, yeah. And they were they were really excited about yeah. it. Yeah, like so, Sean dominated that boy. I'm like, I think, yeah, I think we it was a nobody. I think we as the sport, as fans, and the list goes on. We've got so caught up on records, O versus O. And we've got caught up on belts, three belts versus two belts, and we got caught up on all these things instead of the fact that uh, people watch uh, the Ravens when they play the Browns, knowing that the Browns were O and fifteen. But they still watch because they wanted to see the Ravens be great. You know what I mean? So Deont you got to kind of have that same mindset well, Deontay in the sport had, of boxing. Deontay had that to him to an extent. Perfect. No matter who yeah, yeah. Deontay yep. was fighting. Yeah. Dominic Brazil. Yeah. yeah. Casual fans were Dang, like. Hey, that's a. <laughs> casual, <laughs> but like, yeah. casual fans were like, I'm, this. I'm tuning in to see Deontay Wilder because yeah. he's probably going to knock somebody's head off. Yeah. And he did. What? Yeah. No, I, I think it's a great point because I, some of my favorite fights when I'd have my DVD collection and. I, I go back and watch their showcase performances. Now, the key is you got to show out. Yeah, it, show out. You got to show out. That's gotta the show key. Show out. But when I, when I sh have people my, over my home and I try to show them something to make them like boxing, I wouldn't show them De La Hoya versus Trinidad or even De La Hoya Vargas. I'd always go to De La Hoya versus Arturo Gatti because he lit them up. It, 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 and sometimes that's just incredible to watch mm -hmm. someone put Mayweather versus Gotti. Are you going to watch Mayweather versus Gotti a hundred times? Or are you going to watch Mayweather versus, you know, Canelo or Pacquiao? You're probably right. going to watch Mayweather versus Gotti because the, the showcase, right. the performance. But the right. key is you got to show out gotta when it's show showcase out. time. Yeah. I, like I, I think a lot of fighters are, are figuring out, like what you were saying, where even just a couple, was a couple weeks ago, David Benavidez and David Lemieux. Showed Nobody out. He was clamoring for that fight. Yeah. And David Benavidez lit his ass up and got him out of there. Yeah. So he was like, you're tuned in to see me because yeah. I'm one of the best fighters in boxing. Yeah. I'll show you why. Yeah. Impressive performance. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, I think yeah, that's, that's another point. thing, too. A lot of fighters wait for the big name, and because we aren't getting the big name, you don't see us getting the ring at all. You get a guy like David Benavidez. Like, I want the big names and not giving yeah. them to me. This is who we got. I'll be on Showtime. Check me yeah. out. You know what I mean? So, arena was full. It, yeah, you have to market. I mean, get, market. I don't know, I man. I just. Other side, when the guys are the B side, Perfect example, like you was a B-side versus Spence. Garcia was a B-side versus Spence. He gave us nothing. Yeah. Now, now we don't even want to see you no more. We, we still was like, oh, we want to see Porter I again after that. see him. Against Jose Benavidez Jr., some would say. Yeah, I want to see him. You What's the date on that, Carson? Him? July 23rd, is it? Something like that. <laughs> New York. Barclay we going to New York? Side. No. All right, well, I want to see him. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. No, I think that was a good point. And then speaking of good matchups on the oh, opposite here, end. Here we go. Carson A. Merck's card of the year. I thought this he was about to fight somebody. Third, no. third person. I thought he was about to who's, fight somebody. Who's fighting? <laughs> no, hit, hit him with the third person. I'm telling you, this this fight, hey, this card. We've been talking about this card for, oh, wow. for three yes. weeks. Yeah. For, for yeah. a month yeah. now, right? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah. Hey, hey, he knew the only person that wouldn't fail him was was Sean. And I did. He said, he said, he said, he said, oh, who's fighting? I was like, oh. He said, hey, Sean, someone would say this is the best card next week. Who's fighting? <laughs> it's like, God damn Let it. Me all the way I knew down. Bam Rodriguez is so yeah. rough. I didn't know it was this week. Yeah, so. it is. I knew that was coming. And I, I think part of it is my excitement for it, but the fact that the whole card got announced pretty early and that doesn't often happen. Usually it's like, oh, yeah, here's the main right. event and then you're yeah. gonna, we'll kind of leak some stuff out as yeah. it goes. That was like, hey, here's the whole card. I'm like, <laughs> he fight. So to go from bottom, uh, Mark Castro fights on there somewhere on the undercard. Um and then Jessica McCaskill. You want to see Mark look a little better than he has looked in his last two fights. Yeah, and I, I think he looks like Elon Musk. What do you mean? <laughs> he does look like Elon Musk. He's a, he's weird. kind of a scary looking Just guy. Thing. Yeah, yeah. He, and I think he also gets kind of the raw end of the deal because he came in at the same time of guys like Keyshawn yeah. Davis. So it's like well, we beat uh, many times in the amateurs, yeah. but people don't see them projecting that way in no. the pros. Ooh. Uh, uh, Mark Castro beat Keyshawn a number of times. In a amateurs. number? Yeah. I never knew that. Yeah. Uh, internationally? I'm, I'm not sure what tournaments they happened at, but they were, you know, they were on their records as yeah. amateurs. Yeah. and, and I want to see a better Mark Castro. Yeah, and he's good. I, I and mean, I like you. I well, just want to see And you better saying better. that is not saying that he's not good. It's just yeah. we want to see you take those steps. Yeah. But, uh, so he's on there, and then Jessica McCaskill fights Alma Ibarra, who you had the honor of working with Jessica McCaskill mm -hmm. on the commentary. Mm -hmm. And you called 
Ibarra's fight against Cornejo in you're right. Puerto Rico. For yeah, reason. you're right. Yep. I forgot yeah. all about her. Yeah. So right. that, that would be a good good matchup. Um, Jessica McCaskill, really good. I mm-hmm. like her and Serrano. If Serrano's not going to fight Taylor again, yeah, I'd like that fight. Yeah. Serrano and McCaskill, McCaskill. Putting, putting the belts on the line. Um, and then we have yeah. that's a very good boxing match too. Yeah, they're both. You talk about pound for pound like, fights out there for the women. Yeah, man. They're, they're both. You know, right there. And then we have spend some time watching the fights for the women before you judge them. Of course, I feel yeah. like that's what a lot of people do. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm trying to think of who the co-main is. McWilliams Arroyo and Julio yeah, Cesar Martinez. There's, there's one before that. Uh, is Ronnie Rios? Yeah, oh, Ronnie Rios Ronnie Rio. okay. and MJ. MJ. Perfect. So MJ. Got you. Yeah, my <laughs> guy. So for everyone that watches Stephen Fulton on this crazy, <laughs> this great run he's on, picking up these belts, and you're like, okay, he has the belts. Who has the other ones? Why isn't he undisputed, which is now becoming like, kind of becoming the thing where fans are like, are you not undisputed? Canelo was, mm-hmm. which... He didn't start it, but whatever. Um, <laughs> Bernard Hopkins did. So now when you look at it, <laughs> the other two belts are with MJ or uh-huh. with Akhmedaliev. Uh-huh. Um, I think he is maybe a better fighter than he gets credit for. I think he is somewhat discounted because he maybe not. He beat Danny Roman, um, but I think he's just kind of like, He doesn't okay. fight on American television like yeah, Stephen Fulton. Yeah, and they're does. like, hey, just give up the belts. Let Fulton be undefeated or fight him. <laughs> like, But I think he's really good. He fights Ronnie Rios, who's tough as hell. Um, so that, that should be a good fight. And for anyone that hasn't seen him, you could see MJ now. So you can fantasy match up that if they ever will fight. I don't know. But there you go. Um, and then, yeah, the co main is a good one. So rematch Julio Cesar Martinez, who had a rough night. He did. Against the legend, Chocolate Yeah. <laughs> he was a good fighter getting beat by a great fighter that night. Yeah. yeah. And he fights. So he fights McWilliams Arroyo, who, who's been in there with everyone. And their first fight was. He put down El Rey, Cesar Martinez, and then he Ooh. also got knocked down. So they each knocked each other down, but then there was a cut. I want to say it was the second round. And hey, he couldn't finish, Carson. Yeah. Uh, so, again, <laughs> if I get a paper cut, I might not finish the show. Okay, right. but, <laughs> so so who, who the hell am I to say it? But So he gets cut, and it, and it seemed like he was saying, I can't see, to, the, to the, his corner, right. to the ref, to the doctor. Yeah. And so he says that, and the doctor's. If you if you go to the corner, usually fighters are like no no I'm good like even if they can't see they're yeah. like yep you're holding up two and they're like oh, okay good enough. <laughs> now, in that case, if you say I can't see the doctor, clearly is going to stop the fight. Yeah, stops it. It's a no contest. Yeah. Um. So now they're going to get to rematch. I don't know if I remember any like animosity from Cesar Martinez. Like you kind of chickened out like like Bud and Amir Khan is the one that comes to mind. Mm-hmm. But uh, so that should be a good fight and. I, I would think Martinez, I would hope, uh, learned from that Chocolatito fight. He's yeah. still very young and maybe comes an improved fighter from that. Yeah. Um, back I, at his regular weight as well. Back at his regular yeah. weight. And Arroyo's been around the block. I mean, he's, he fought Chocolatito, I think, seven years ago. So, yeah. he's Ooh. yeah, he, he's been around the block, and, and that makes him dangerous and experienced. But I feel like the younger guy coming off 12 rounds with, going with one of the pound-for-pound best, you know, I, I think Martinez should win that fight. Yeah. We'll see. I, I, w- I would lean towards him as well. And then main event, guys slowly becoming one of my top guys, Bam, Bam. Rodriguez. And he fights the Rat King. You got, got him on pound pound yet? He's going to be – honestly, this is a big win if he gets this win. Surung Visai beat Chocolatito twice and stopped him. Um, and obviously he's a very experienced fighter. He's been in there with everyone. So Bam moved up, obviously, to fight Quadras in his last fight, picked up the belt at, one, at 115. And it's a tough fight. Sergio Visa is a big dude. I think Bam's going to have to really use his feet in this fight. Yeah, he always does. Absolutely. He always does. But he, he kind of is, you know, gets compared to Lomachenko a lot. And, and instead of the side to side stuff, he might have to box, you know, and really fight off the back foot a yeah. little bit because Chocolatito got nailed and knocked out coming straight forward, mm-hmm. coming right after Sergio Visa. Mm-hmm. He, he, his left hand. Can put you out. Yeah, I think it was. Like, was it a right to put Chocolatito out? I think it was. Uh, was it a right hook? I think was, it was a right. Yeah, hook. yeah. But he, he could, and, and he's not to not again not to like discredit his you know versatility, but he's he's a straightforward fighter. Throwing Visa, he's gonna sit there. He's gonna bang. He's got obviously got power. So I do think lateral movement and just versatility, which Bam is an expert in. <laughs> he's only he's twenty two now, I think. But um, yeah, and I, I need him to. I need him to avenge. <laughs> well, that's I don't know why I tie them together, but I need him to avenge him. Well, that's the torch handing fight. 
Yeah. That's the fight yeah. I feel like we're building towards for Bam. Right. He could beat this guy right. and eventually Hearn will make Bam and Chocolatito probably in California. And yeah. if Bam could and should win that fight, yeah. you know, then we have a new king right. in these divisions. Yeah. Right. And, he'll, and he's working with uh, Robert Garcia, obviously, still. You prepared to see that? Prepared to see what? MC beat Chocolatito? Yeah. The handing of the torch. We'll just put that <laughs> put that way in the future. I don't have to worry about that now. Um, yeah, and Soren Visai, he he really does. He, he Bam, again, this is his second fight at 115. This is not his typical weight. So this is a big guy that's hitting you with a big shot, like, you could put down. It, it could certainly happen. One fifteen. Um, I mean, he's not a big guy. A, a a weight above you. I mean, a big guy though. Just because you're not one fifteen, I could say <laughs> one forty seven. Ain't, it? ain't not you're anymore. not a big guy. Yeah. Two forty seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. one forty seven. Yeah. Man, chill. Don't, don't, hey, they already eyes. spread rumors. <laughs> about you. Is they already be like he, he two hundred at least. <laughs> but yeah, that that really, I, I said it seriously, but we were kind of joking about it. It's the best card of the year. I think top to bottom. <laughs> so if there is a fight card you're going to tune into, let hey, we be should make his ass watch this at home by himself. This week. <laughs> we haven't even talked about what we're watching. I'm, I might end up at home. You guys by you yourself. Guys, yeah, you guys have been traveling. Uh, you guys have been globe trotting like Harlem. I think, I think we're on uh, daddy duty. He don't even know you. Huh? Yeah, you can't go nowhere. Oh, man. Ooh, me? Yeah, that's what I was told. <laughs> Tough break. What are you talking about? Father's Day. <laughs> you're right. Father's Day. Right. Yeah. You're right. Yeah, I might. I you guys have. I've had to watch a couple fights at home. Hate to see that. Um, <laughs> I tried. I tried to pitch. I tried to pitch. You guys going to San Antonio was shot down with, with, just complete with vigor. Yeah, just utter disregard for for my oh, idea. Man. I pitched the River Walk. <laughs> I was like, this cars hey. next week, right? Yeah, it's too late now. We're not. It's going. too late. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Would you go? That would that would have been the only. Oh, that would have been the one, huh? You would have had. Mm. And, and no, be, you say you might go to Ryan Garcia. Oh yeah, it's L.A. It's L.A. Yeah, that's a, yeah. that's a, we drove to, to San Texas? Diego. Uh, to be fair, you guys always want me to travel. I pitched this. I kept oh. saying, I don't try to throw hey, fans hey, on San us. Antonio. Yeah. 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 For, yeah. for every fan that he says, was going man, we don't, man, we want to see Carson in New York. First off, you never he see me there. But this was one I pitched, and and nah, but New York, that's the one we want to go to. But yeah. Outside of that, I think that's it. I think I think next week after that, the Saturday is a light, kind of a light boxing schedule. Some would say the card of the year is on the fourth. An event. Don't do that. <laughs> Demarcus <laughs> Chop Chop Corley takes on fellow former champion yeah. Devon Alexander. And, and I joke that saying the LA card of the year. At the but, LA, but uh, Unity Day. County Fair. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Pomona. We got Unity Day. Pomona um, Fair. Place. The the or, the uh, organizers of Unity Day hired me in to do commentary for Fight TV. Uh, this is happening on Tuesday, July fourth. No, no, it's Monday. Monday. That is Monday. Excuse me, Monday, July fourth. Uh, I brought in my main man. There you go. Because they 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 show hired. Us, show them the hands. Give us give us a little rumble drill there. Get them all. Yeah, get them all. Go. Get them all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Faster, faster, faster. faster. Uh, I just I wanted them to understand like, hey, this is you need a team to do this. You can't just hire me and expect this thing to work. There's some some parts of this that I've never had to do, so uh, I can get somebody for you. And um, before before I had even thought of you, uh, I had this conversation with them. Then we end up down you in Dallas. You reached out to Jim Lampley. He was like, Nah, I can't. No, nah, I didn't and do then, that. But we yeah, ended up down in Dallas, and we I mean, we what did if some Jim good Lampley work. Would have referred you. Jim Lampley's like, I can't. But Sean Zaitel, like, that's uh, who we talked to. He's a terrific young mind. He did. He did cry. He did cry. Your man, your man, your man, your man, He did cry. Zaitel would have cried. But anyway, so so I ended yep. up down in Dallas, and yep. we did we did Ugas and Spence. And when it was done, like, I always, like, quickly, I'm just, like, playing in my head. And then, like, I heard you in my ear, like, like yo, like, you did. He did his thing. So I called up um, everybody over there uh, organizing Unity Day. And I said, I got the perfect guy for you. So I will put a suit on that. Yeah. And, you and, will? Yeah, yeah, yeah hell yeah. You yeah. putting a suit on. We're oh, talking about man. you will. Yeah. It's going to be hot is it out gonna be there. Sean, is it, it going to be a Sean Zytel suit or is it going to be one of your? No, 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 no. Your outfit. It's, it's, no. it's going to be pretty regular. He going to look like he's going, <laughs> he going, to, look like he's going to court on some traffic Or is he going to look like the, the Ryan Garcia tux from the tank? Yeah, but you had to go to court? Uh, no, I hired people. Okay. Okay. I was going to say, like, you seem like the kind of guy that I think you Zytel, put a suit on to I go to like, court. Yeah, I think Zytel is going to keep it pretty basic, which I can respect. So yeah. Zytel is going to be working. I'm not with mad at you. that. You're going to walk in there looking like a public defender. 
So we got we got Unity Day. What's that in two weeks? Yeah, two uh, weeks. It's yeah. right there in yeah. front of you. Yeah, just about two weeks. It don't matter because next week we're gonna have the the organizer on the show. Okay. So he's gonna talk about it yeah. a week before before the go. actual. Yeah. So I'm not even gonna worry about what I what I what I need to read. You know, my reading is is halfway towards remedial anyway. So I ain't mad at you. It can't be. If you know the word remedial, it can't be remedial. It ain't that bad. Yeah. It ain't that bad. Your mom never got you hooked on phonics? No. I know oh, okay. we did. It was a waste of money. <laughs> oh, I knew a white person tried yeah, that. Yeah, we did. I was did. wondering. Sure, it didn't no, work. You were right. It, it didn't work. I was wondering. So it's a real thing, huh? <laughs> hey, what about you? I never, I never no, did it. It's smart, a real thing, though. though. Yeah, I knew it was a real thing. All right, thing. back to you. I saw, it's, it's, it's for lazy parents that are like, yeah, I'm a good parent. Hey, I'm come buy on, him, man. I'm going to buy him hooked on phonics. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I'm going to step on Carson's Nick, toes for a second. Nick, I was going to say, leave him alone. Leave usually, alone. Toes for usually Carson is the newsman of the show. Yeah. Uh, okay. But Ortiz Ruiz announced for September 4th, right, yeah. Carson? In, in uh, LA, I believe. Reported by, by Mike Coppinger. Yes. Was, was the first one with that. So it yeah. happens, it happens. Um, Dude, am I crazy for, I feel like two, Three, four, five years ago, I'd, I'd favor Ortiz stylistically. Yeah, sure. But, but right now, I feel like Andy should get the job done with his youth and speed. Mm -hmm. This guy is in his 40s now. Back tattoo. Yeah. Back for, for <laughs> All the way down the crack of his ass. Yeah, yeah. Is it? But still not a wide gap. 60 40? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I wouldn't be surprised if Ortiz still lines him up with a perfect left hand at some point Ooh, as he's coming I in. Was, I was but, pretty concerned with. Ortiz in that last fight. I was gonna say, don't go there. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, we're, and we were, well, and we'll obviously talk about it closer to fight as far as predictions go. But yeah, he he was on shaky. He was on shaky ground, like the temptations for a while there. And I I don't yeah. know. It'll be interesting because Ruiz is definitely the younger man. Um, he's still, you know, I don't know how many years younger. Look he out, is, but, baby, because yeah. here he comes. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, temptations. Yeah. R.P. Yeah. David Ruffin. <laughs> um, yeah, no, that's he's too, quick too. That's big good like, one like that really fast is, hands. Yeah. Two, but two. He's, he's got fast movements, too. Yeah. Two really good yeah. boxers in the heavyweight division yeah. between, the, between the two of them. Oh, that's a good fight. Yeah, absolutely. But, yeah, the summer will start to heat up with some fights. Like you mentioned, um, Ryan Garcia's coming up in July. Um, Ray Vargas and Max Sayo's coming up. Good it, fight. Yeah, a lot of really good fights coming up. But, yeah, that's pretty much all we have for this week. Anything else for you there? Showtime, Sean P.? Well, you know, I've been trying to end these shows with a little bit of a Hold motivational on. thing. Go ahead. So we got to talk about Father's Day. So what you get? What you do? What you get yourself for Father's Day? Uh, I'm doing a spa day. Okay. Here at the Wynn Hotel and Casino, right after I leave Blue Wire Studio. There you go. Was, what, what's the name of the spa? What's the name of the spa? <laughs> Damn, why the Wynn Spa. Okay. The Wynn Spa. Spa Wynn. What What your wife get you? Uh, Boxing gloves. She, all right. She's got <laughs> that's feedback. Go she's she's going to play video game. games with me all day. Oh, oh so yeah. she letting you chill. She yeah. letting you have a yeah, man that's day. That's all I ask. Let's play some yeah, video so games. so I guess I, you know, I'm not, I, I was trying to sleep in, but yeah, I got a billboard, like I said. So hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's, cause let's talk about that. Did she take you outside to show you the billboard? She said, uh, you got to wake up. I said, what do you mean you got to wake up? You got to go somewhere. I said, she said, you ain't got to get too dressed. I said, what the hell? So you, you literally left ass? my house? No, nah, not butt ass. Uh, <laughs> I, I I have my cheeks out, but that's about it. Hey, uh, yeah, so I uh, we got the in the chaps. car. Yeah, chat had the chaps on. You know, yeah. had, had a, we had a wild night. <laughs> so we we drive down <laughs> we drive down the street. She parks. I'm like, what the hell? She's like, look up. I'm looking up, staring at a billboard. All of a sudden, I pop up on the billboard. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Oh, oh. She got you the one that 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 flip and yep. eventually so every, it get to you. Every ten seconds, I pop up for two oh. that, for for the next two or three hours. Oh, hey, I ain't right mad there. at that. For the next there two or three hours, I ain't mad at that. That's really on two fifteen and and Eastern. Yeah. Shout out to Amanda. Man. Yeah, yeah. She That's held sweet. it down. She, Did you tear up? No, uh, uh, I didn't tear up, but then somebody texted me. Wait a second. You came out really strong with no. Yeah. And then all of a sudden you're like, you know. Uh, nah, I, I yeah. started reading everybody's you text know, messages. A lot of pollen. I started reading everybody's <laughs> text messages. I'm like, damn, I'm really a dad. That's just yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this fool used to make fun of me all the time. Yeah. And this dude begging me to have a kid. <laughs> Look at the year, so, man. Yeah, but Legend in two games. Yeah. Not, hey. So, yeah, you know, father, hey, it's been father's amazing, that's a, man. That's, that's, that's a smooth move that she yeah. did. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah it was. Yeah, I saw that. She I, always killing it. She posted it, and I was like, why is she posting a billboard? And I looked closer. I was like, oh, that's it on there. That's tight. And I was like, that's, that's crazy. Tight. It wasn't for the podcast. Yeah, because fine. <laughs> yeah, one year, I mean, shout out to everybody that didn't get an invite. One year with COVID, she shut down the whole movie theater and brought the whole movie theater out. Hey, you I was there. Did you say that didn't get the invite? Because I, I surely Yeah, I know. That's why. Like, <laughs> that's why. I wouldn't have gone. You was there. I'm not big But not the scary movie, though. What movie did you see? We went and seen uh, the Honking movie. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Cars? The one that we walked out on, right? <laughs> yeah. I wasn't going to say that. I wasn't <laughs> yeah. going to say that. That's it. Yeah. But, I, wasn't, I wasn't there. I was there, but I wasn't there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, she bought it. Yeah, she, she does official. 
So the honky yeah, Amanda, Amanda like wins. Lightning McQueen. Yeah. She, nah. wins the, she wins the competition on this one. Yeah, 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 yeah she yeah, kills yeah. with yeah. the presents. So your motivation to close this out. Sure. Um, in the spirit of Father's Day, I actually got a text from Tim Crawford this morning. Bro, I salute you. You're a damn good father to your children, bro. And I appreciate that because there's only a few of us out there. Feel a few of us real ones out there. Keep being Superman in their eyes and keep setting the bar high for the little man's watching us wanting to be like us. One love. So with that being said, first and foremost, I just want to congratulate all of the fathers out there that are doing a great job. Continue to do a good job. Happy Father's Day to all y'all. And keep in mind, you too, which I'm sure you already know, and you need to know this too if you don't know this, Leos will always look at you like you're Superman. Fathers out there, your children look at you like you're Superman. Doesn't matter if they're a boy or a girl. They look at you like you're Superman. Here's the, here's the kicker. Eventually, they're going to realize that you're not Superman. Mm. But if you've been doing the right things, if you've been leading them correctly, if you've been guiding them, and the other side of this that I'm going to get to in a second, if you've given them everything that they need to know, they'll always look at you like you're a, a form of a Superman. Continue to be Superman. Continue to fool your children and think you're your Superman because eventually I'm not going to be able to pick up Diggy and throw him the way I used yeah. to. And it's going to click like, I'm going to have to say, Diggy, you done got too big. Yeah. He's going to say, what? But then when he gets too big for that, there's always got to be something else that he's going to be able to look at. And I'm, and I'm going to be Superman in one, in one shape or form or another. So always be Superman to your, to your youngins at home. The other side of that. So he said it all. Charlie I was Skilo. like, I'm sitting there. I'm like, <laughs> like how do I how do I follow this up? You know what I mean? So you think I, he sent that to you individually, or was that a group? Was that just a change? No, <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. I didn't ask. I'm, I'm just curious. But I <laughs> sent one back. Yeah, I appreciate it. You said it all, and I ain't, and there ain't nothing left for me to say. I'll just give you a little psychology that may help you someday or some days. Love is inevitable. Trust is created. Pay attention to them as much as they pay attention to you. Everything that you're demanding of them, demand of yourself. That learned behavior will develop trust in, in, in unimaginable ways. Love is there by nature. They're going to they're gonna love us no matter what. They come from us. They're going to love us. Trust is developed and is, and is the key to family strength. So what I'm, what I'm saying, what I'm saying to end this with, the love is there. They're gonna look at us like we're Superman. Mm -hmm. Eventually, if we do something that's messed up, or if they 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 feel like there's something that they can't tell us because they've seen us act a certain way towards a certain towards a situation, anything like that at all, from this point, from since my boys have been able to talk. I talked to them. Never felt like I could talk to my dad. Never felt like my dad was going to understand me. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't really something that my dad gave to me when we were young. My dad didn't just sit me down and just talk to me. When I cried or when I was upset or when something went wrong, my dad didn't, ever, didn't really try to talk about what was going on. There was a lot of anger and there was a lot of, why did you do this and why that so and so and so. So before I go to my sons with anger, before, I, before I'm chastising my sons, before I'm whooping my sons or anything like that at all, I'm going to talk to you. And they, they're crying because they want something out of the refrigerator. And it's just digs. It's too late. Let me come tell you why it's too late. Right. And we'll get it in the morning. Right. I'm trying to develop trust with my sons. That way, when, when the Superman disappears, they still understand that that's dad. I can, he can, tr I can trust him. He's going to understand me. He's going to talk me through the situation. I can rely on him. That trust is what you got to develop. Love is going to always be there. You're going you're gonna to always be Superman until you're no longer Superman. It's just a part of life. But once Superman's gone, if you've developed trust in your children, you'll still trust that you're Superman in one shape or form or another. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. God bless you guys. We'll catch you on the next one. And break the cycle, man. Break you got to do what your uh, family Shout out to Real did. Dads Network as well. Yeah. Shout out to doing great things. I got Appreciate you. you. How long Appreciate did it take you, you to respond to that with that text? Ah, oh, it took quick? me so, so <laughs> I probably, he sent his at 6.30. I probably woke up right around 7 o'clock and I sent it at 7.45. So, okay, so it, took, it took, took me a minute. minute. Yeah, it took me a if minute. You had just, if you had just gone off the dome right there, yeah. you'd be... 
Nah, because that was that'd like Cassidy level. I felt like he said it all, <laughs> and I was like, "What? what like, what can you really yeah. say?" And I was like, "What can you say that like he doesn't Gilles already speech? know?" <laughs> Martin Luther King Jr. <laughs> oh right, 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 right. The right. Greatest speech I've ever heard. <laughs> right. So I was just like, "What can I say that he oh, may not have heard before?" Yeah. So that's what that I went good. with. Yeah. That's what I went with. Um, thank you guys for always tuning good in. Good stuff, Sean. Boom, Happy boom. Father's Day. Happy, Happy Juneteenth. Happy Father's Day, everybody. Absolutely. Happy Juneteenth. Yeah.